what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this paper paint effect inside of after effects let's get straight into it So before we get started with the tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this whiteout effects that you guys will need to use for this video. It will be linked down in the description. There's gonna be a free version of the pack and also a paid one. And obviously the paid one will have a lot more effects and everything, 145 total assets. So this is what I'm gonna be using in the video. And if you guys do end up wanting to buy the pack, make sure to use code Tylo effects when you guys check out so you guys can get a discount. But yeah, make sure you guys do have this pack downloaded and you guys should be good to go. All right, I'm in After Effects right now and I got this short clip of speed here. I'm not totally sure why I'm using him but I mean he kind of just like works with this effect I'm not gonna lie like this effect is literally meant to be used with a clip of speed <laughs> it just like works so well but yeah so I'm using speed here uh I got this short clip it's around like uh three seconds or so but what I'm gonna have to do is first off we want to find a spot where we want to freeze it and have our freeze frame like start where we can actually add our like paint effects and everything so I'm just gonna scroll here you just want to select where you want your freeze to start and make sure your clip is selected and hit Control shift d and that's should split the clip so you got this first one here and your second one and on the second clip you want to right click it go to time and freeze frame and now this whole clip is just frozen on this frame right here so we can like expand this as much as we want and it'll just be frozen on that one frame so we can apply all of our effects here what we want to do is mask out speed so we'll have a layer of just speed here so you want to go up here and grab the pen tool and we can just start masking them out and i'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to mask out already so i don't really need to totally explain this process but if you don't really know well it's pretty simple you just go around putting little like points around your subject that you want to select and and try to get a pretty good mask around your subject and it's going to be a little difficult around the hair all right so i just finished masking them out here and as you can see there's no background now like we don't have the actual background of the footage so so you could have done this at the start but you want to duplicate your clip so now you have two and on the bottom layer you should have this mask right here if that's not showing up just hit m on your keyboard and just select it and delete it and now we just have top layer masked out and then the bottom layer is just our original freeze frame now this is where we want to bring on all of our like painting effects and all that the overlays so make sure you do have those downloaded either the full pack or the free pack that are both linked in the description i'm going to be using the full pack here and as you can see there's tons of different effects to choose from there's even sound effects and also like numbers and letters and all that which is super cool what i want to start out using is in this objects folder I'm just going to grab maybe like wings or something. There's two different wings here. I'm just going to bring on the wings, drag this onto our clip. And you just want to position the wings underneath his layer. So now it's in the middle. So it's actually behind speed. Um, and we can just like position this however we want. We can rotate it, you know, just make it look how you want it to look in your shot. Now, when we play this back, you can see that it starts to animate while this frame is just frozen here. So that's pretty much the basics and now we just gotta add some more effects to it and this process is literally all up to you just use your creative brain just to think of different effects to add and like there's tons of different things and overlays so get super creative with it like we can just drag on like these horns here bring these over and bring this on top of the footage this time you can't really tell just because like it's so zoomed in but you kind of get the idea of what it looks like and yeah just literally keep applying different effects different overlays we're gonna add some different like paint splatters and stuff like this uh splatter one right here bring this over we can just scale this down maybe put it like over here position it like that and now we got some like paint splatters in the corner and they don't have to start at the very beginning of your like freeze frame we can offset them a little bit like this we can also duplicate that hit Control d and we can space it out again just bring it over here r on the keyboard to bring up your rotate we can like kind of create like a little frame we can scale it down maybe and if you want to change the color of something super easy just go into your effects and presets and search up an effect called tint and just drag that onto your clip that you want to change the color and map the white to whatever you want i'm going to choose like a dark red here and now we can see that we got the white and the red here and i just realized that this is kind of covering the horns so i'm going to drag the horns above all the layers there so that's kind of cool i'm going to go ahead and add one more effect here and we're going to add the wrap to bring this onto our footage and let's just drag this somewhere around here and we just want to make it like wrap around his head so we can scale this up a little bit let's just play it back to see what it looks like now you can like see it like wrapping around his head basically kind of cool you can even like do something down here 
uh, like that. That's pretty much it for this, but obviously it doesn't look too good. Like you don't really have that like paper effect. So with this pack, it comes with these paper textures. So we're just going to go in here and I like the paper four and the seven, but I'm just going to use just this paper texture four. bring this onto our timeline and scale this down, rotate it 90 degrees, scale that back up. And we just want to go here onto the modes right here. And if you don't have that, make sure that this right here is selected and you should have these modes. So yeah, paper texture changes to either add or screen. I kind of like how add looks, so I'm going to use add. And if this is like too strong of a paper, you can always just hit T on your keyboard and mess with the opacity here. I'm just going to leave it at 100. And also you don't want the paper to be shown on the start of your clip here. So let's just trim that down also. So now we have our clip and it freezes and then you have like the paper and all the effects going on. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far, but obviously it's not where we want it to be. In the intro, I used like a little like flash sound effect and made like a little flash like overlay kind of glow. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in a few seconds, but you guys can use this effect however you want, but I'm going to do like this little like camera flash effect. Um, it's pretty simple. It's not that hard. You just want to go ahead and add a new adjustment layer. Put that on top of your clip here and go over to the effects and presets and search up exposure right here bring that onto our clip and we just want to go to where the effect happens so right here make the exposure to like four that's a little crazy maybe three there we go okay three looks good keyframe that and then go a few frames over we're gonna do 10 frames hit a keyframe at zero then we just want to go to the very end and put this back to zero so now we have this still <laughs> it looks really weird um it like drags on the exposure for like pretty much the whole clip so we want to fix that hit you on your keyboard brings up these keyframes here and just select all of those hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them and then open up your graph editor and then we just want to bring this point down over here and like this so it's like a little ramp up it doesn't have to be this strong of a ramp we can have it like eased in just a little bit more something like that and now we just want to kind of fix this other side of it so just bring this point straight down and then this one pretty close to this one and if you hold shift on your keyboard it locks it to the uh, x-axis here so that's like a helpful trick and that's pretty much the flash you can mess with it have it last like a bit longer you can have this not be as like far down adjust like the uh flash i guess like fastness i guess <laughs> i don't know just mess with it it's going to be different for each uh clip and each length of your actual footage here now i'm going to go ahead and add a transform effect and let's just bring that onto our same adjustment layer here and at the very start where like this flash begins, we want to keyframe the scale, position, and the rotation. And then let's go to the very end of our clip, or maybe like a frame before the end so we can actually see what we're doing. I'm going to scale this to like 103. Let's rotate it like 1%. And then we could move it if we want. We can like have it focus on its base a bit more here. And these values can change also. You can make the scale like uh, 105, whatever. I'm just having it pretty subtle here. Once again, you can put these keyframes back to the very end of the clip. So yeah, now when we play this back, you can see that it slowly like zooms in there and rotates. So adds a little bit more motion to it and not just like a little still image. So now all you need is just like sound effects in this pack. It actually comes with sound effects. So we have sound effects right here and we have all these different paper scratches and everything. So there's lots of different things. I'm just going to use this paper shuffle one actually and bring this over here. And we just want to line this up with when like the paper actually starts to have an effect. The last thing I want to do is add a camera shutter effect. So you can just go on YouTube and like look up camera flash sound effect, anything like that. Something that sounds like a camera, I guess. Just uh, use that and we're just going to have the flash sound start right when the flash actually hits. So like that, we're going to lower the volume down to like negative 10, something like this. Let's play that back. And there we go. That is pretty much it. So all of these uh, effects and overlays are going to be linked in the description. And you just want to go over to Cine Packs and download the files and you should be all good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.